Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So we're going to take a look at what's going on with Ripple. I really hope the SEC wins the Ripple case. Ripple will move triple faster outside the U.S. with clear regulation in either London, Canada, Japan, Singapore, etc. A small loss in the U.S. is the greatest gain for Ripple and XRP holders. And think global domination, not U.S. subjection. And that looks terrible. When somebody says that, people are like, oh, if they lose that case, it's all over for XRP. But it's really not. Because Ripple, the company, right, is one thing. XRP is another thing. It's the cryptocurrency tied to Ripple. And say Ripple moves outside the U.S., which we're going to talk about right now. Because this blew up Twitter. And all the FUDsters came out of the woodwork to view FUD all over this. So Ripple's CEO, Brad Garlinghouse, says... If he loses the SEC lawsuit, he's going to leave the United States. Now, say Ripple leaves the U.S., but XRP is ad adopted by all the other countries other than the U.S. That doesn't mean your XRP is worthless. It means now you see the true value of your XRP. And the big loser in all this is going to be the United States. Why? We're already lagging behind our enemies as far as digital currencies. I'm talking about Russia and China. We're lagging behind now. They're moving ahead with technology. And the further they get ahead, the longer it's going to take for the U.S. to catch up. But when you turn on mainstream media like any of the news outlets, all you see day in and day out in the U.S. is crisis after crisis. Now we have riots. Again, we have an open border. People are piling in here like crazy. And yet, people just sit back and they're like, yeah, but, you know, it's not as bad as people think. No, it's worse than what people think. And if we lose in the financial sector, that's going to be big for the U.S. If they take a loss, it could be a financial crisis, in my opinion. So the SEC nearly doubles crypto enforcement team to crack down on fraud. The Washington Post. Let me tell you something. Here's who the SEC needs to be taking the court. Let's start with Tether. Okay. Then let's take a look at Luna. What happened with Luna and Celsius. Why aren't they looking at those companies? Why aren't they pulling these people in the court? Why aren't those cryptocurrencies, like I'm talking about Luna, being delisted all over the place? No, it's just business as usual. They're too concerned about XRP to deal with anything else. You know, I feel the SEC is probably the worst part of the U.S. government at this point, next to the IRS. I will simply say, you cannot have enough. There is a reason why Ripple is being delayed in a fraudulent lawsuit with the SEC. It's a delay of the new system. At the end of the lawsuit, XRP will have what others don't, regulatory clarity. That's in line with the WEF, BIS, and IMF. And we see there the Nostro Bostro. That's because Ripple wants to unlock that. That's $27 trillion locked up in those accounts. If they start moving all that money, the price of XRP will skyrocket so quick. If you're not in, you're never getting in at that point. Unless you want to, you know, take out a mortgage and buy one XRP at that point. And the thing is, people still think that XRP outside of the U.S. will not have a use case. It's laughable. And I've seen that all over the place on Twitter. So, SEC versus Ripple. Tensions mount ahead of key decision in the XRP lawsuit. You see how they, they keep talking about key, de you know, key decision. Uh, things moving quicker. We know this lawsuit's going to end in Ripple's favor. People who don't believe that, 
I mean, are really blind. Because this has to happen. The U.S. has to keep up. I tell you that in almost every video when I'm talking about XRP. If Russia and the U.S. made their own CBDC, how would they exchange? You need a middleman to be able to swap. XRP solves this. It's like a trust layer. It's so to make sure that the money gets from point A to point B. And XRP is how it all comes together. And we see this. Fed's pal says clock is running to, to bring inflation down. I'm telling you right now, inflation is not coming down anytime soon. And they're just prolonging the inevitable. They don't want to come right out and say to you, hey, you know, inflation's sky high and it's going to get worse. That's what they should be telling you because that, in my opinion, is the truth. I mean, right now it looks very bleak, but I think it could get much worse very soon. And then Powell says the Fed can avert U.S. recession, but tasks getting tougher. I believe we're already in a recession. I believe this is to avert panic, not avert the U.S. recession. Because what happens? You have recession, which brings on inflation. So I think we're already in a recession. I think the next step would be a depression. And we got to hope that the stock market holds up. Hopefully it gets, you know, one more push to the upside and everybody makes money. And this way, when it does take a dip, at least people will be better in a better place and be ready for it. That's why I like being in crypto. Because in my opinion, if I cash out a whole bunch of XRP, I mean, look at it like this. You do not have to worry as much as the guy who's going to work every day and getting a weekly paycheck and, and living week to week. Because you'll have, you'll be able to cash out and say, okay, I have enough money to survive this. JP is without a doubt the worst Fed chairman in modern times. We know they because they know little or have little understanding about inflation. Well, how did we get to this point? I'll tell you how we got here. Right now, I could sum it right up. Remember when they were printing all that money back in 2020 over COVID? And remember how everyone got unemployment? And then everyone got stimulus checks. Well, guess what? That's how we got to where we are today. Plus, you have a lot of people that went on unemployment and are still not working now. I know they tell you all the time, you know, oh, you know, everything's looking good. You know, the, the government wants to keep you thoughtless. They don't want you worrying about things. When you take a look around and all you see is crisis after crisis, how can you not worry? But they always play it down on the, in the media. Well, it's not quite that bad. Plus, we got crime rampant throughout the country. And that's because most of the people that were on un unemployment never went back to work. So now they're robbing and stealing to make it. And people don't understand that. People say, well, it's only a group of people that are doing this. People should never have ended up on unemployment for as long as they have. They should not have printed all that money and gave it out. Because guess what? Now we're paying for it. You go to the grocery store and you buy food. And you could see now we're paying for it this way. So maybe you got a $2,000 stimulus check or whatever. And now all of a sudden you're paying. Look at the gas prices. That $2,000 does not look quite as good as it did the day you got it. When we're now where we are today. But the Fed doesn't understand that. So... What's stable about the USD? Actual inflation running in double digits and BRICS and, and Europe and others looking for a less weaponized reserve currency equals game over USD. Stable coins pegged to fiat, fiat are not stable. XRP fixes that also. So when you think about your XRP and your holdings and you know you hold the greatest digital asset of all time, in my opinion. I don't only hold XRP though. I diversify and I buy other cryptocurrencies. I buy all of the ISO 222 tokens because I think those are the safest bet in crypto right now. 
And when you see a statement like this, and you know, that, you know, USD is pretty much, it's, it's going down. And you know how the rest of the world is moving ahead. You know, Europe is going to have the digital euro soon. You know, China has their digital currency. Russia's working on theirs. And the rest of the world is starting to move into the digital age. And the U.S. is still lagging behind. That's why you, when you're looking at your XRP holdings and you know where you're going to be when the whole system comes down, you're going to be the guy sitting back and saying, I am so glad I got into cryptocurrency when I did. Then you could connect the dots, the Internet of Value, XRP Ledger, XRP. And right there it is. And you see Ripple, you see Stellar. You're going to see the rest of them also. And you see how it ties it all together. You're going to have q in there. You're going to have Algo. You're going to have HBAR, Casper. There's going to be so, it's going to be so big. And by the time people actually see what's going on, it's going to be way too late. And then they're going to be stuck in a system that is falling apart, in my opinion. The stock market, I think, is going to crash sometime next year. I think the housing market's also going to crash sometime next year. But you know where we're going to be? Sitting back and thinking, wow, I never thought XRP would cost this amount of money when it's sitting at $10,000 or, you know, $35,000 when all of this gets tied together and everything is working as it should. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.